you're going to meet someone who's incredibly intelligent if you haven't met them already. And this could actually turn into a true love situation because you ended on the two of cups. But if you're meeting someone who is really intelligent and kind of lacks that emotion at first, don't push it. This is someone that takes time. So Aquarius, you have the Eight of Wands reversed. That's a block in communication. There's also someone heavily thinking about the fact that you've blocked them or you're thinking heavily about the fact that someone has blocked you. And right next to this with the Three of Pentacles, it's as if you were trying to work on this. And now that everything is kind of said and done, and it's almost like a closed door, in some ways this is freeing because you have the butterfly on top of this. There's definitely something that you feel sad, you feel regretful over. With the Five of Cups being in your energy, that's something that you wish you could go back and do differently. And this has caused you despair. You have despair on top of this. So thinking about what you've lost, thinking about mistakes that you've made. But these mistakes that you've made have actually been so instrumental in what you've learned and how you move forward and proceed with any connections that you're currently making or that you're going to make in the future because you have the Six of Pentacles right next to this. So you're very ready to make new, deep, meaningful connections. And you're paying close attention to how people are acting. I feel like you're kind of taking a step back and you're really evaluating people's character in terms of actually creating a new relationship or a new friendship. You're really putting them under the microscope and making sure that they are beneficial to your life, that they're good people, that they compliment you. And you're not just making connections in love, you're also making new connections and friendships. Now, I want to point this out. You have the chariot in the middle of July, the star, which is your major arcana, and the two of cups towards the end of July. You have someone like riding in on their, on their white horse here with the two of cups. So if you're completely single, get ready for some kind of deep connection towards the end of July. It may even be around August. I always love seeing you know, the signs major arcana show up in the reading. This means that you're focused on yourself and you're focused on healing. Animals are going to be really healing for you this month, especially if you have a pet. Also, water is going to be very healing. I feel like there's going to be a lot of healing taking place at night specifically. Some of you need to go to a spa. Like, you need to go to a spa and actually have a massage because I feel like for some of you, you haven't been touched. Like, you haven't been not just touched in like a physically like sexual way but you need to have like knots taken out of your back you need to have that anxiety taken out of your body physically by someone else's hands like in a massage way because you have melancholy here and i feel like if you focus on your body physically and what it needs physically not just being in your mind not just emotionally but the physical aspect of what your body needs intuitively is going to help you come out of this melancholy state. You have the chariot in the middle of July, which means you're successfully moving forward. I feel like there's also a business opportunity or something in your career where someone wants to join with you. Someone sees the intelligence in you. They see you as a brilliant asset. They want to join an idea with you or they want to be your partner and grow with you. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. I'm also seeing heavy earth signs around you. You have seven of pentacles reversed around the beginning of July. So there was something that you've, you put a lot of effort into, wasn't quite working out, was not giving you the benefits that you wanted to see from this. But after this has ended, you're going to get communication from something else that's going to just project you forward really quickly. But you have to know when to cash out. You have to know when to let go here so that it doesn't keep dragging you down. If you're not appreciated where you are, you cannot keep watering it like a dead plant. And I feel like there's people around you that may be actually talking about you. There's going to be a situation where it's like someone's drunk and they try to start gossip around you or they actually say something bad about you. Because you have the Page of Swords reversed here with conversations 
and this has to do around like a delirium and consolidation. So even though this person is talking crap about you, it's during a time where there's a lot of social charge or alcohol, but you're gonna get some kind of consolidation from this, meaning whatever they say badly about you, you're either not gonna care because you're making more money than them and they're just jealous, or whatever they say is actually gonna backfire onto them. You start out July with the Two of Swords, so you're definitely in your head, likely about something that you've lost. Again, pointing me back up to this non-communication card here and thinking heavily about that. There may have been three people involved with this. I'm not getting the Three of Cups, but there's three people in this image when it comes to not getting what you wanted. But you have money all over you, so that's interesting because even though emotionally you're really hurting it's like money is just being thrown at you by the universe and that doesn't you know that doesn't heal a broken heart but it certainly helps and that's where you're gonna be seeing your blessings come to life this month is through your career through your money i'm also seeing here you're thinking about switching jobs or switching fields altogether but you're not quite sure yet if you should take the plunge you're going to receive some kind of communication, like a stepping stone, if you're actually seeking other employment, and that's going to be where you can actually leapfrog onto something else with the chariot. I feel like you are helping others financially too, like people rely on you in some way. They rely on you to be successful. You're definitely experiencing emotional confusion and this is stemming from a loss that you've experienced. Spirit is saying here that you have to release this. And that's what you're trying to do with the Five of Cups. Because it's creating more and more despair for you. And what you have here towards the end of July is a soulmate connection. And this is coming in. But you have to get over this period of rejection first. Like you are feeling really crummy about the fact that you've been rejected. And you may also be feeling like you're just kind of coasting. Like you're on autopilot. You have coast here. And it says everything has fallen into place. Enjoy the ride and know you got this. You also need to breathe. It says if you want to conquer the anxiety of life, live in the moment, live in the breath. Yes, live in the now, because really that's all that exists. The past doesn't exist, not anymore at least. The future isn't here yet. It's not even manifested yet. So the only time is now, and that's the only moment that you live in. And in order to heal, you have to just breathe and coast. <laughs> if it means going on autopilot, then so be it. But in the meantime, breathe. You also have solar summons. Turn your face toward the sun and the shadows will fall behind you. I love that. Yeah, because the negativity really can't thrive without your acknowledgement. You know, the shadows, the demons, they're not really having fun unless you're paying attention to them. And if you're not paying attention to them, then they just go away because there's no fun in that. And... You have to have your eyes set on where you're going, even if it is just a vague idea and the forward movement of that, which is the chariot, which is the star. It's that hope. You also have making plans. So you're making really important plans right now that I feel is going to last throughout the rest of the year. And you may be dealing with someone that's at a distance from you, or you may actually be thinking about traveling somewhere and this travel could be something that you're planning. Like you have a vacation that you want to go on, or even moving. And for those of you who are dealing with someone new, you could actually meet someone that, again, is from somewhere else. Okay, Aquarius, we're going to look at your extended. We're going to see who's coming in, who's this Two of Cups. And we're going to check out what is this past hurt here with the Five of Cups. So I love you so much and I'll talk to you very soon. Just stick it out through July because this is cancer season and that's when the emotions are at an all-time high. Come Leo season, a lot of us are going to get that confidence back, that happiness back, and that lighthearted energy back.
I hope this helped you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.